Hello there, World of Tankers. Welcome to the channel. Hopefully, all of you are doing well out there. I'm, of course, your host, Stadrudels Blitz, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to earn credits for free in World of Tanks Blitz. This is just like one of those free credit report commercials where they're like, free, free, free. Yeah, you can actually earn a lot of credits, funny enough, in the Cheeto, the Tier 6 Japanese medium tank. This vehicle has the highest credit coefficient for any non-premium vehicle in the game. It's sitting at 125% credit coefficient. Now, the highest credit coefficient at Tier 8 is the T3485 Victory at around 183%. So, it is a big difference, about a 50% gap difference on the vehicle. So, I figured, why not do a game in the T3485? victory see how many credits we get in it and then compare that credit coefficient to the cheeto now i will be making sure to turn off my credit boosters on both of these battles because of course that kind of gives you a hindered view because sometimes credit boosters gives you a certain amount of credits while other times yeah credit boosters are really weird in the ways they give credits and i honestly don't know how they do it is it how much xp you get how much damage you do i really really don't know but here we are loading into the first game we got the SPIC against us. Let me just click off that credit coefficient. Uh, I'll uh, left alt control four. Check it off. Check it off. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not letting me check it off. Uh, four. Uh, alt four. Alt four. Haha. -ha, we got it off. Okay. We're good. We're good. Wasn't let me do it for a second there, but we got left alt four work, and it was. I guess you can't do it. I thought we could just drag our mouse and honestly click it, which would have been a nice. Because on mobile, you can just really tap it, and it turns it right off. But no, on computer, you have to do left alt four. So now that we got our credit coefficients off, let's see what we have up against us. We got the Egg Panther two, SPIC Tiger one. KV2, KV2, oh boy, that's uh, that's a uh, <laughs> fun, and the uh, EZ8 and the Stretch Vogman 74, so not too bad of a battle, but I am quite worried about the Tier 7 Yag Panther 2, very strong tank, in fact, this vehicle, if you don't know, carries the stock 85mm, this is what the original T3485 used to carry, which isn't necessarily the best for penetration, in fact, very, very poor on penetration values. Now, of course, aiming it on, like, the side of a KV-2, not gonna matter too much. A KV-2 has very, very poor penetration as it is. And the great thing about Tier 6 is since camo values don't really matter as much, like, spotting ranges, of course, on Tier 7 vehicles are not as good as they are in Tier 10. So, where you normally get spotted if you were to shoot at this distance in a Tier, uh, you know, a tier 6 or, not tier 6, but a tier 8, 9, or 10 vehicle, you don't really get as easily detected in a tier 6 tank. Now, we do got the Tiger off to the side who we're going to whip a shell, hopefully, right into. There you go. Nice shot for 209 damage. I'm actually really liking this tank. The DPM is nice, the gun's nice, and the look of it. This is one of my favorite camos in the game. I just think it looks so, so nice. So let's see if we can come up behind their team. They don't really have tank destroyers. I am a little worried of their Tiger, but, you know, that's... uh. That's to be said. This is a World War II tank, and so is the Tiger. And uh, realistically, the Tiger was like one of the most fearsome vehicles. Also, how did we ricochet that? Uh, speaking of Tigers, I, I really don't know how we ricocheted that shot. But there you go. One nice shot into the EZ-8. Let's try and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle that booty. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're getting away too easy from that one. Although the Stritzwagen, kind of a... Huh, I'm not gonna... I don't really know what's going through this guy's brain. But you know what? Uh, not much anymore, I'll tell you that. His brain is not in that tank. It is scattered all over the wall, so not too much for me to deal with on that aspect. We got the KV-2 off to the side. Now, I do know that that KV-2 is running the weird gun, so, uh... It actually will still hurt, but not as bad, of course, than the 152 millimeter. Nice shots coming out here, though. KV-2 is about to be taken out by the M41 Bulldog, which is good for us. We got the SPIC off to the side, who, of course, I'm going to try and get some nice HE shells into. I want to rip into this SP-1C. Oh, no, no, no. I want to get shells in them. Come on. Yeet. There you go. One nice HE for 298. And let's keep on chasing this guy. We don't need an HE anymore, though. Fire standard shell finishing him off. And all that's left is the KV-2, who's about to get killed by our Comet. So, first game, pretty dang good. We were able to do, what, about 2,000 damage? Maybe 1,850 plus a little bit of a ram there, I think it was. So, yeah, but we'll say about 1,900 damage, maybe. And uh, we got 54,000 credits. So, pretty good credits, but, you know, not the most. It was a decent amount. So, now we can make our way on to the Cheeto, which is just, as you can see, I got nothing really special on it, just my consumables, provisions, ammunition, equipment, all that kind of stuff is locked on it, although... 
Well, I was about to say I'm going to actually put on Rammer, but it looks like we're not able to do that. So we're going to try game in the Cheeto now. Let's double check to make sure that our credit boosters are not on. So it's an even and fair comparison. Yes, the credit boosters are not on, which is good. And we're going to see what we can do. Wow, I've actually blown through pretty much. You know what I will do, though? Uh, left alt six. I will put on my gold boosters. I keep forgetting to use them, and I do have 107, so I might as well use the gold boosters. I don't really like them. I feel like it's a waste of time sometimes, but I guess I'm going to play the game. What do you, yeah, go away. All right, <laughs> let's drive our way up here. Now, the Cheeto is not the most of exciting vehicles. It has a good gun. I will give it that. It's got a very nice gun on aiming time, as you can see. Penetration is decent, but it does have a couple downsides. The tank has literally no armor. Very easy to rip apart because it's very big, and the camouflage is very poor. So, yeah, it's, it's not the best of vehicles, but, you know, it gets the job done, and the gun is really really good I will say that it's got one of the better guns in tier 6 like you can see it's got practically no aiming time which is great you know that means you don't really have to worry about snapping shells into the enemy opponents they don't have any kv2s which is actually great that means I can't be one-shotted so let's see we got the ox off to the side in fact the whole team appears to be on the other side oh but we got an ARL over here in fact I will definitely try and target the ARL. That is by far one of the deadliest tier sixes in the game. So you know my uh, my motto is target the most overpowered tank, at least right now. So that's exactly what we're going to try and do, although he doesn't seem to be the most overpowered player. So there's two nice shots at the ARL. Let's, of course, get one more. Drive away! Let's see if we can get another out. Come on, and yeet another shell into him. There's one shell for my teammate, and with that, we should easily be able to tap a premium right into his upper plate, finishing him off. So that's that really nice gun from this video. Vehicle. Good premium penetration, very good standard pen, and we were easily able to take out probably the deadliest tank on the enemy team. Even though that player didn't seem the best, the ARL is just such a strong tier 7, or tier 6. I honestly think it plays like a tier 7, but it is a super duper strong vehicle. Now we got the T3045 off to the side, who I'm going to try and shoot as much as possible here. Because, of course, a very, very deadly tank. So let's get some nice shells into him. Although, uh, a bit of an issue for me, of course, here, is that my team is not near me. And I'm about to get slappered. Oh, back up, back up. We're probably going to die. Oh, we didn't die yet. It's a miracle. Ah, we were taken out. So, it doesn't seem like we're going to win this. I was kind of hoping my team would rush down there with me, but I, I didn't realize this was my team, so you know. Sometimes you come out with some issues. Now, defeats take away about half the credits you get, so if we lose this game, what I'll do is I'll just double the credits, and that's pretty much what we should have gotten if we won something like that, so let's just watch this guy get slimed <laughs> the Hellcat. Fun fact, the Hellcat's got a really, really bad turret traverse, so uh, when you're trying to use it, it really struggles on that. But let's see, I believe in USU 100, you can be OP. Now, I don't know how many credits I'm going to make. I haven't played any battles in my Cheeto, uh, honestly, like ever. I played, I think, like maybe one game in it. I wasn't even equipped. I had to put equipment on the vehicle, so I haven't played it in probably a year or two. And I just figured, you know what? It's got the highest credit coefficient st statistically posted, so let's find out how good that actually is. So, um, I guess we're just gonna have to wait two years for this guy to be taken out. This VK-28 is eyeing down the mighty butthole of the SU-100. He did get a shot right in there. Oh, gee, this guy is skill. He's going to be taken out by the VK-28. There you go. That was the end. Don't you love a guy named Jesus saying our team is bad? <laughs> okay, well, let us see. How many credits we made? We got 14,000. So if we double it, eh, maybe a little more, we probably would have gotten about 30 something thousand. So not too bad. 30,000 credits every game for a tier six vehicle isn't bad. If you needed the growing credits, and this is for any free to play or players out there, and by the way, on the free to play series, I will be making a video very, very soon. Um, for any free-to-play players out there, you can easily grind credits with a vehicle like this. You get one day of premium, let's say, and you want to grind credits to get your tier 10 unlocked, and you don't have any premiums. Grind this with premium account, and you can easily get some good old credits. 30 to 45,000 credits. I would say if you do maybe 2,500 damage in this tank, you could get 60,000 credits out easy. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. As always, if you did and you want to see more like it, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. But a good example to show just how good the credit coefficient actually is on the Cheeto is that the Fury has almost the same credit coefficient actually as the Cheeto. Same for the Panzer 4S and the Wi-Fi Firefly and the Stratwagen 7.4 and the Tiger 131 and the Type 64 and the AC Sentinel and the Cromwell Berlin. All those vehicles there are only 20% higher on credits and those are all tier 6 premiums. If you move your way to like tier 7 premiums, 
Uh, honestly, like the M4FL10 is 140 percent again. It's not much higher. Tier eight, though. Tier eight uh, massively goes up, 160 percent. Uh, but just for example, again, like the K91 is only 135 percent. So you would easily be making uh, the same amount of credits in the Cheeto as you would in a K91 or most tier six premiums. So that's just why I wanted to make this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. But other than that, I'll be seeing you in the next one.